Julia Terkovic. I'm assistant director at the Center for Security, Diplomacy and Strategy at the Brussels School of Governance of the VUB here in Brussels, uh, where I'm also assistant professor, mainly teaching courses on EU foreign policy related uh, subject. And it's really a pleasure to be here today with you discussing about the future of EU ASEAN cooperation. The real priority is to stress the importance of this dialogue that the EU and ASEAN needs to have on the different subject and trying to be as aligned as possible in the position they have uh, on, these, on these challenges. And then again, in my experience, cooperation is much easier on technical issues, on things that are really like uh, practical and there issues about the governance and so on is overcome because you need to deliver, you need to provide something that's effective so you automatically learn from each other. It's more time to focus on the strategic challenges that we are both facing and try to coordinate and dialogue to in order to find a common position uh, on, on those issues. And I don't think that the way the two regions are governed is necessarily a challenge for that. I mean, it's a challenge for the different regional organizations. So uh, new government, uh, of course, might provide um, challenges because the position might change and there would be more, the need to dialogue more to find a, a joint regional position. But when that one is set, then it's, uh, as I said, it's much powerful. We are facing several uh, challenges. It, again, it's not just about the post-pandemic, uh, the economic um, challenges that this is still creating. It's also like um, other actors, the way they behave and so on. So I think it's important for the two regions to try to dialogue on that and try to find joint positions provide joint solutions as much as possible. There are several ways in which the two can cooperate, being at UN level and trying to align a position at UN uh, level. Again, discussing about different perspectives. Very often we said um, in this um, great power competition environment we are living in with the US on one end and China on the other end, EU and ASEAN can maybe provide a sort of a, a third way to understand the environment and to try to find solutions for that. Consider that of course, there are other actors, as you said, um, that are very, very important in the, in the, in the Indo-Pacific regions, of course. But the strategic partnership is exactly important because it will bring the discussion to the next level. So to a level that will tackle all the systemic challenges, uh, the geopolitical challenges that we are now uh, facing. It was a long journey for uh, youth uh, to be um, included in the dialogue, but it's really advancing. I mean, initiatives like the EU ASEAN Young Leaders uh, Forum, it's very useful. Even if sometimes the, the critics are, um, how are you actually influencing the policies? The point that uh, youth is involved in the dia dialogue is already important because they are part of the discussion. They can, um, listen, they can speak, but most importantly, they can exchange between them. And this creates uh, the, the, the bonds that, that then will inform the dialogue in the future. So it's not necessarily about the contribution today, or about building the network that will continue the discussion tomorrow. You just need to keep uh, the dialogue open. You need to keep exchanging. You need to keep discussing. And the reason is that, again, tomorrow might be in a in, in few months, could be in a few years, you will be asked to contribute to this debate. Uh, and the network you have built will really support you in that, will really support the way in which you create your opinion, uh, will really give you the feeling that you uh, that you know what you are talking about. And so you know that um, who are your counterpart, who are the, the people you can reach out to to learn more about it. So I really think, um, yeah, it's important to invest in this type of networks again because of the long term and the importance of seeing this cooperation, this dialogue, this partnership as a, as a long term uh, issue that should continue in the future.